all along the coasts in the North Sea, there are legends about the Silkies, the seal people. Here's one of the most famous. It's from Iceland. Icelandic shore and slid like a foaming mirror back into itself. A young fisherman climbed the boulders at the water's edge. A brisk wind whipped his face. He made his way toward a cave opening seeking shelter from the sea spray. As he approached, he heard sweet singing drifting out of the darkness. Coming closer, he saw black seal skins draped over the stones at the edge of the cave. He crept silently up to one of the skins and snatched it away, clutching it closely. He hid behind a rock and stared at the cave opening. Before long, beautiful dark-eyed women emerged from the cave, dressed themselves in the seal skins, and returned to the sea. One woman, however, stayed behind, searching frantically everywhere. Finally, with a shiver and a sigh, she sat on a rock and wept. The fisherman felt his heart swell with an unexplainable longing for that woman. His love for her swept his good sense away, and, and he could think of nothing but bringing her home with him. He hid her seal skin under some stones and approached the strange woman. She did not flee. He put his coat about her bare shoulders, and speaking only with his eyes, he led her home with him. He fed her fish cakes and warm broth. She fell asleep on his bed. The fisherman listened to her quiet, even breathing. He admired her long black hair spread like seaweed over his pillows. He wanted her to stay. When her sleep was deep, he dashed back to the shore and took her sealskin from under the stones where he had hid it and he brought it home with him. He put her sealskin while the beautiful woman slept in a great chest and he locked the lid, the key. He put it in his pocket and he promised himself he would carry it with him always. Days, weeks, months passed the fisherman treated his unusual visitor so tenderly that she soon loved him, and they were married. Oh, to the villagers, they seemed happy enough. But that woman, she never spoke. And some days, she would sit for hours at the rocks at the water's edge. Her dark eyes would gaze sullenly at the swelling sea. Time passed. They had seven children. Oh, she treated them well. But every day, she would bring her children to the edge of the ocean. And as they played in the sand, she would gaze out to sea. Her dark eyes always had such a faraway sad look. One Sunday, the fisherman took all the children to town. His wife had felt ill and stayed behind. As soon as he was gone, she gathered his clothes, 
scattered in the rush of leaving, and a key fell with a clatter to the floor. She picked it up in her hand. It was a strange key. She'd never seen it before. She looked about the cottage to see what it could open. The chest had long been used as a bench. She pushed the key into the welcoming hole and lifted the lid there, hidden in the shadows of the chest. She saw her black seal skin a gas washed over her like a wave. She remembered the taste of the ocean and the surging of the tides. She reached into the darkness and she pried the seal skin from its hiding place. She dashed out of the door. She clutched the skin to her chest and she ran, stumbling, tripping to the sea, slipping the skin on. She slid into the water. An eerie song drifted over the waves. Some say they heard it. I've seven children on the land and seven in the sea. My heart is torn for those I've born. Salt tears, my choice must be. Whenever the fisherman's children walked along the water's edge, they said there was a seal that swam close to shore, splashing jellyfish and colorful shells up onto the land to delight them. The fisherman's nets were always full of cod. He said there was a black seal that swam about his boat every day splashing the good catch his way. <laughs> 